Hello folks, and uh, we've arrived at the uh, POW camp. As you can tell, it is night. Just as I predicted. Fun. Uh, as you can see here, uh, while there is large bushes to give you somewhat of an idea where you are, and there is some audio tone, uh, there really isn't much of a way to tell where you're at. And, as I said before, the tan do stick out. Uh, so, as long as you at least have a chance of spawning them. Like, where I'm looking at now, there's an, there's a tower there. And see, there's another tan right there. But, uh, there are uh, watchtowers. And, uh, that's what I was kind of looking at was at one of the watchtowers way at the other end of the camp and there's the other, other guy uh, in the other watchtower so to take him out I'm just kind of making making sure that I can take out whatever I can I see uh, there's another guy right there uh, but I can't take him out due to the fencing And uh, things look fine there. Typical first person shooter mentality of just using whatever you have available to play with the camera and see where you can get with. See, I'm just showing you the difference. It's, there is a wall there, it's not something I can actually shoot at. and I'm just making sure that there's nothing in the towers uh, basically stuff like this um, is pretty much if you mess up you can trigger a whole bunch of enemies and then you have to clear out all the enemies or there's also uh, rigged stuff where if you walk a certain direction uh, enemies will spawn uh, that was kind of more of a feature that was in Army Man 1 and uh, basically like the the boot camp level and uh, the one with Tannenberg I mean not the, the one where he signed in from Tannenberg why not and I think uh, it wasn't trapped it, it was a uh, thick I think it was thick thick's uh, rescue level for army man one uh, had where where basically you could clear out a whole lot of enemies and yet you still trigger some more and so you had to make sure you cleared out all the triggers before you got him out or it becomes a pain in the butt. Anyway, uh, here's the bayonet. Uh, basically, I'm not far enough in, so uh, that's a little bit of a lie on the distance, but that's what the bayonet does. Unfortunately, it doesn't aim up, as you can see there. And now, since there's gunfire, the alarms have been triggered, and, well, I died. But I was just showing off the bayonet. So we'll go ahead and go back to the beginning. I'm just curious what's up here. Nothing much. It's just where it was. So once again, we just have to take out the guys in the guard towers and nothing too eventful. Uh, now, you're wondering how I got in before. Uh, there's a little water passageway, and you can only figure out where it is. I see, look, kind of at the bottom of the screen there, where it's kind of like a dark blue color. It also makes a different audio sound. And basically, just follow along that where to hook where it runs into the wall and then crouch like right here uh, so like I said just play around with the camera a bit you'll find it and anyway, we'll whip out the bayonet again just because there's not made too much use for the bayonet so figure out why not just show it off yeah for some reason the World at War series likes to use the bayonet str <laughs> bayonets and knives even the uh, like team assault, they give they start you out with a knife. But they don't even give you a gun. They just give you a knife. 
you have to kill a, a tan before you can get a weapon. Which is kind of a neat trick. Basically, this time we set off the guards on purpose and let them all get into their spawn positions. Gunfire is happening everywhere. Nobody knows exactly where everybody is. So we'll just work our way out, taking out all the guards. And there's where the POWs are. Like three or four uh, green soldiers in that little area there. The only thing about this that's a little annoying is the camera turn around, and that's a common issue with all the Iron Man games, is turning around. Even the Sergeant's Heroes for the 64 had turnaround issues. A little easier with their control, but it still was rather clunky. But, as you can tell here, everything is like they added a second layer of now we have to get on top of buildings well here's the problem we have to find dark stairs in an, a completely dark area uh, to get onto the second floor so now we have to hug every little bit of wall to figure out where the steps are how annoying isn't it Uh, you can shoot the lock there, but you have to be real close to it. In, the, in other words, there's a game trigger that'll say shoot the lock, and then you can shoot the lock. Uh, basically trying to get a good shot of what they look like in the prison. Uh, now, Like I said, now to find the stairs. And so this is going to be some fun and excitement. Yeah. Um, feel free to skip. Oh, there. Found the steps. And we found a few leftovers. Leftover tans we have to kill. Make sure that they're all gone and out of the way before we can continue on. Anyway, as you can tell there, it was so dark there. I don't even know how I found them. And I just fell off again. So now I gotta refine the steps again. And there's invisible platforms between each one, and you can crawl between the two layers. So, if you want to go for more stealth, but like I said, once the gunshots happen, it's pretty much everybody's alert and looking for you, and there's just might as well just machine gun it. But, uh, well, keep hugging the wall, keep hugging the wall. Oh, anyway. Oh, if, since we're kind of in a downtime here of me trying to get to where the POWs are, I'll just go ahead and talk a little bit about myself. Um, basically, uh, I said, uh, my screen name's Kiki, and uh, pr uh, pretty much uh, do it being taken uh, by a bunch of other people. Uh, I just used my other name of Ball49, and then I used the zip code for my name. Uh, that's why I, have, why I say my name is Kiki when I start with, because that's the, my intended screen name, but it was taken. And, uh, I like to cook a little bit, and uh, uh, but I went to uh, Job Corps in uh, Cass, uh, Arkansas, to uh, study business. Uh, I also enrolled at the uh, community college near Cass, Arkansas. Uh, Unfortunately, I wasn't able to finish it because uh, my job core time was up, so I couldn't finish my uh, college credits, which kind of stunk, but nothing I can do there. Uh, but uh, basically, 
have a lot of skills as a administrative assistant, uh, secretarial, uh, not too good at accounting, uh, but uh, I am looking for work, just uh, kind of, well, since I've graduated Job Corps, I haven't had much chance to uh, work on my uh, work on my uh, computer skills and whatnot, and uh, the jobs around where I live here, which is Cassville, Missouri, oddly enough, strange name, but uh, it has nothing but medical jobs here, and I, I'm a business uh, person, not a, not a medical person, so jobs are incredibly hard to find, and uh, Basically, even like I said even uh, the KFCs and even the Walmart here is laying off people or keeping limited staff uh, due to the economy. Uh, so, uh, like if anybody's looking for uh, for some, uh, an employee or something, let me know. Uh, like I said, I I don't have much experience, like maybe about two months experience of uh running like s some administrative tasks not nothing too hard or advanced there just j a lot of the basic stuff like filing and uh doing presentations but uh you know you can post something there uh, I also have a dog uh, I call him Buddy, and he's a Papillon. Uh, at least I think he's a Papillon. Uh, I'm, I'm not actually sure. Uh, he's kind of he's got kind of that weird look to him. He's, he can be either one of three different breeds or something. Uh, but he was a stray. Uh, but basically, the story with him was that. Uh, when you know when I had my downtime a while back, uh, and when my hard drive got hit by lightning, uh, went to a, a friend and uh, got fixed. And but you know by the way, here's the I finally got figured out how to get there. It took some time. Uh, basically, just work with the camera and you can get back to where you're going. But I got to shoot the lock. There'll be a little animation there, but anyway, about the dog. Uh, basically, he was abandoned. A bunch of really mean people just abandoned him out on the road. Uh, no rhyme or reason, out in the middle of nowhere, next to a uh, in front of my dad's place, and uh, basically, just kind of well. He took care of him for a week or so, and we decided to uh, take him home and adopt him. Uh, he's a rather quiet and shy little guy. Uh, he is active somewhat, and but uh, he, he's really kind of a quiet dog. But uh, not really much, not much to him. But I figured I'd just sh share share about him because he's. Pretty nice. He's doing this. He's doing this weird uh, dog humping thing on the floor. He humps the floor. I don't. I don't know why he humps the floor. If anybody can explain that, let me know. And evidently, we're not meant to take the helicopter ride. So uh, evidently, we're supposed to go do something else. Uh, so uh, this week, he's heading out. Uh, for Let's Play Army Man Part 4, uh, thank you.